Hello, welcome. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today is very exciting because today we get to look at the newest Polly Pocket Keepsake Collection set, the Starlight Dinner Party. It comes in this absolutely gorgeous box with this super cute little pink bow on top. They definitely put a lot of thought into the displayability of this box because, I mean, just look at it. It's gorgeous. I got this set on Amazon and I can't guarantee that it will still be available when you're seeing this video, but as of right now, it is. Now we need to get this open and I think to open it we just have to cut the tape in a couple of spots and this whole front part should just lift right off and I was correct So if you did want to put your set back in the box to display, it would be very easy to. You can just slide this back on. You might want to tape this down again, but there you would have a very nice display box. So here it is out of the box, absolutely beautiful. Of course, this is the remake of the 1994 Star Bright Dinner Party. And I will get into comparisons of these two sets a little later, but first I want to quickly address why the slight name change from Star Bright to Starlight. And I honestly don't know the answer to that. I'm not sure why they changed the name. Maybe they wanted to connect it to the Starlight Castle set. Maybe they thought Starlight made more sense than Star Bright. I mean, it kind of does, I guess. Kind of a strange and very subtle change, but I'm sure they had their reasons. But for now, let's just focus on the Starlight Dinner Party. So it is this very pretty marbly, shimmery purple that they went with for the box. Of course, we have the silver Polly Pocket Keepsake Collection logo up here on the left. We have a big pink bow going diagonally across, and we have a big star right in the middle of the bow. We have more of that embedded glitter in the bow. I'm not a huge fan of this embedded glitter because only a couple of specks of glitter actually show through. Most of it is so embedded that it doesn't even look like glitter. It kind of just looks like little specks of dirt or mold or something. On the back we have four little stars here in the corner and here we have the battery compartment because yes, it does light up. And here it is. I mean, it looks very, very similar to the old set. Just some color changes and slight design changes. We'll get into it all. Let's start off at the top. Up here we are on the roof. In the background we have this purple sky with star and moon cutouts. We have a couple of green chairs here, both with star cutouts and a pink table between them with a couple of cups. Next to the chair we have a star lamp post and a plant. We have a silver railing going down here. Going down the stairs they are white with more star cutouts. We land at, I guess, a dressing room closet area. We have a teal like green seat in front of a purple vanity with a silver what would be mirror and a little star at the top. Moving over here we have a spot for our dolls to stand and we have a closet here on this side. You can see a purple dress and a couple of shoes in the bottom. We slide the door over and we see another dress, a little fancier, pink and orange, another pair of shoes. This is an interesting color for the door, kind of a, I don't know, what would you call that? Pukey greenish yellow? Not the biggest fan. If we head over to the stairs again, over here in the back we just see a couple of more plants, more of the same white stairs with stars cutouts and now we are in the bathroom. We have a silver sink with a gold spout, a mirror, and it's not too distorted either so that's nice. We also have a little white table here in front of the mirror, a purple toilet, a silver tub with a gold spout, a couple of things here behind the tub on the wall, and a little white towel hanging on the wall. We also have another place to stand here. Over here under the stairs we see a couple of coats hanging up, some purple purple rain boots and a purple umbrella in an orange basket. We have some more steps going down to the bottom part of the compact. We have a star here in that same kind of pukey green color but it's looking more gold so I guess maybe this is supposed to be gold too? I don't know. It's just a very random star sitting here. We also have a button in the same color here that turns on the lights and they are sitting on just some cabinets. We also have this greenish teal chair here and a table with lights and set up for two to eat 
another little chair on the other side. Both of these chairs swivel. And a buffet cart here in pink. We have some what looks like desserts and a knife on it. Just like the old set, if you push this cart, the food on the table will change. So currently we just have what looks like maybe some soup, some silverware, and napkins. If we push the cart, it changes to looks like a cake on a star plate maybe some more napkins spoons and a little cake cutter if we push the cart again this is probably our main meal some more napkins forks knives drinks and some star and moon shaped food on gold star shaped plates let's head over to the curtains the wall here is just in that pretty green teal color. If we look on this side of the curtains, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see some medals and trophies on a shelf. On this side is kind of cool. We get a little throwback to vintage Polly here. On the left, we see what appears to be the original Polly design for the 1994 Starbright dinner party. Then we have a yellow compact down here on the left. We have a pink compact down here. I believe we have the Tamsin doll, which is is included in this set but was not originally included in Star Bright Dinner Party but we'll get into that more later. And in front of the curtains here we have a spot to stand. These curtains are purple with star cutouts and we can actually slide them over and we get this beautiful view of the city. There's fireworks and even Polly's name up here very Hollywood-esque. Let's head over to the kitchen for now. We have a big silver door to our refrigerator. We can open this and inside is yellow with pink items in the refrigerator. We also have a couple of spots to stand here in the kitchen. We just have some food laid out. Looks like we are prepping some vegetables here and a sink. Heading over to our living room now, we have a purple chair with a gold star pillow, a star rug, another spot for a doll to stand. We have a long purple couch with more of those gold stars. And of course we have an orange fireplace here with a clock on top and the fireplace is just kind of a pink color. Behind the couch over here, we have a silver stereo and a tree. Now you have this grand entrance at the front of the set. Originally you would lift this up to get to the battery compartment. Thankfully that is all on the back of the compact now so you don't have to deal with that. Very elaborate yellow floor with these white rails on both sides and a place to stand right here. We have a couple of trees on either side of this gorgeous clear double doors with some gold detailing. They of course can swing open so that you can walk inside this beautiful house. Now let's take a look at the dolls we got with this set. So first we have Polly in her casual clothes. She is adorable with short blonde hair. She is wearing a pink headband with a bow. Her dress is purple and her shoes are also purple. I think they did a really good job with the dolls in this set. Seems like they are getting better at the quality, the paint job. Everything seems to be getting a lot better. We also get Polly in her evening attire. Her hair is up in a high ponytail. I love that style for her. She has a deep bluish purple bow in her hair. She is wearing a long pink dress with a star necklace and some gold detailing at the bottom of her dress. And she has this purpley blue star on her wrist. I believe that's a corsage because I think the original doll in Star Bright Dinner Party was also wearing a corsage. And then this is a little different. We we also get this doll. She is wearing a lilac dress, lilac shoes. Her hair is up in two little pigtails and she is carrying a purple and pink present. Now why it's so interesting that we got her in this set is because she didn't originally come with the Star Bright Dinner Party set. You did get three dolls, but the mold for this doll is the exact same as this doll. Now this is Tamsin. She originally came in the 1993 Polyville set Bay Window House. So I wonder why they decided to put her in this set instead of the original third doll that would have come with this set. Here we can kind of get a comparison 
comparison of a vintage doll and a newer doll. Obviously the vintage one is much shinier and slightly smaller and of course you can see the difference between the bases of the dolls. The vintage ones are much smaller, not nearly as deep. You do have to wonder why they didn't remake the bases the exact same as the vintage dolls so that you could play with vintage dolls in the new sets and vice versa. I don't know why they decided to make that change and unfortunately I don't have the original dolls for the original Star Bright dinner party so I can't compare the two Polly's but they are very similar in that you had a Polly in very casual clothes and then a Polly in a purple fancier dinner party dress. Now for one of the most exciting parts we have to look at the lights. So in the old set this part was removable you would undo a screw in the back this would lift out and you would put the batteries down there. I'm so happy that they changed it for this one. You don't have to remove that at all. Now I should probably turn off some of my lights so that you can get a better idea of what it looks like. I think that'll do all right. So if we just press this button, the lights should turn on. Whoa, look at that. Now this is really interesting that the fireplace actually flickers. It didn't do that in the old set. So I think this was a really nice addition. The lights are very bright. They're also very yellow, which I don't entirely mind. I like a more yellow, softer light. The only thing that is kind of disappointing is that the lights do time out after I think about 30 seconds. I was really hoping that the lights wouldn't time out. I understand the importance of battery conservation, especially with kids, but I really liked the old sets where as soon as you open the set, the lights would turn on and they would just stay on and turn off as soon as you close the set again. So you do have to press the button like every 30 seconds to get the lights to turn back on. You can press the button again to turn them off but it won't turn off when you close the set. You can see it's still glowing inside. All right, so now that we've looked the set over and we've looked at the dolls and we've checked out the lights, the only thing left to do is to compare the two sets. Now, obviously there are some big differences right at the start from the outside of the sets. Star Bright Dinner Party was this pretty pink with a yellow bow going across it, whereas the new set is this marbly shimmery purple with a pink bow going across it and the addition of a star to the bow. One nice thing about the new set is that the bow isn't painted, so you don't have to worry about scratches or paint chipping off like you clearly do with the old set. The backs are very similar except for these little, what would you call these, feet of the set. On the Star Bright Dinner Party, they were just these little round feet. And on the Starlight Dinner Party, they are stars. And of course, we have the addition of the battery compartment being on the back of the new set, whereas in this one, it is on the inside of the set. The hinges are very similar to each other. The closures are pretty much the same. We're gonna pull out a ruler and get scientific here. On the old set, the closure is about an inch wide, and it's the same on the new set. This little bit right here, on the old set is quite a bit skinnier than on the new set. The closure on the old set is also longer than on the new set. So Mattel obviously put some thought into improving the closure because a shorter, wider closure is going to be stronger than a long, skinny one. As you can see from that mark there, the old one has obviously taken some wear and tear. So I'm very thankful for the improvements they made. Now let's look inside and compare. So you can see the color scheme is very similar while also being a little bit different. On the left, the original Star Bright Dinner Party. On the right, the Star Light Dinner Party. The color of the sky is just a little bit different. More blue on the left and more purple on the right. And the stars are just a little bit more rounded in the new set and a little bit more cartoony, I guess you would say. I personally prefer the stars on the old set. Also, the chairs have changed color. We had a more neon green in the old set and more of a soft teal bluish color on 
the right. We also had some detailing in the cups on the old set that we don't have with the new set. The street lamp on the old set just looked like a normal street lamp, whereas this one was made to look like a star. The first thing I noticed is that they played heavy into the star theme with the new set. The old one, yeah, it was star bright dinner party. You went up on the roof and there were stars and that was pretty much it, that it was a nighttime dinner party. Whereas with star light dinner party, they themed everything stars inside the house, outside, everything is stars. So they just played real heavy into the stars with the new set. So everything there on the side of the stairs is pretty similar. Obviously this one is all part of the same mold. You can see like the coat and the boots and everything doesn't look like it's popping out like it does in this one. You can also see the difference in the stairs in the old set. The cutouts were hearts. New set, stars. Looking at the dressing areas, the yellow of the background has changed to orange, and obviously that closet door has changed to that weird gold greenish color from the pink, and we got a star cut out in the new set. Heading down to the bathroom, the tiles in the bathroom stand out way more than they do in the new set, which I'm kind of disappointed about because I love that texture. It was so pretty, although it is really hard to keep clean if it gets done. It's hard to clean those little grooves, but I just think we lost a little bit of dimension and realism with the new set. Also, major changes in the bathroom that I'm not happy about is they got rid of that beautiful green sink and bathtub and changed it for this quite dull silver. Not a huge fan. They also changed the color of the toilet from yellow to purple. In the old set, we had this yellow TV in the corner and that got replaced with a very strange star. I don't know what the point of that star is. What is it doing? doing there. No one knows. I understand nobody really has box TVs anymore. I think they totally could have kept it a box TV and it would have been fine. Or if they didn't want to keep the retroness of the box TV, they could have turned it into a flat screen TV. Now also the light switch of course on this one is just this little flip switch here. It turns itself off by being pushed against this when you close it. If you leave it in the on position or you can turn it off like that. Now in the kitchen, we have some more changes. Again, we have a little bit of lack of depth in the tile and that beautiful green refrigerator door got changed for some more of that silver. The living room sees a couple of changes as well. Our blue furniture turned purple and we again got way more star themed items with the change of the round rug and square pillows to a star rug and star pillows. They also changed the fireplace from this green and we have some what looks like candlesticks on the side and a gold clock to the new orange mantle and no detail to the candlesticks, but still a very light gold clock. The dinner table is very similar. The chairs obviously changed a little bit from this green to this more bluish green. The carts look pretty similar, but let's compare the food items on the table. So in the old set, the table starts out just set. We have knives, fork, salt and pepper, and pretty little purple napkins in napkin rings. This set starts us off with the soup. Moving on to the main dish in the old set, we just have some blue forks and knives, some pink cups, plates, and just some indistinguishable food items on the plate. And here is the main meal on the new set. Here is our cake dessert in the old set and on the new set. Now the curtains did change a bit. In the old set we have this teal green color on the side here of the curtains. We just see a picture and maybe a plant. On the other side we have another picture and this really pretty heart wallpaper. The curtains are pink with some gold detail and when we open them up we just get a very nice cityscape looking out the window. Very pretty. Whereas of course as we have already looked at we have metals and vintage poly images and the new cityscape includes Polly's name and fireworks. I would have to say I prefer the old cityscape to the new one. One thing that hasn't really changed at all is the entrance into the house. The doors are pretty much identical. The trees are slightly different color and I guess the yellow is a little bit different as well but overall it's pretty much the same. Now for the lights let's turn off one of mine so we can see. Here's the old lights and the new lights. 
The new lights are a lot brighter. Of course, it's a new set and this one is almost 30 years old. So its lights might be a little finicky and not as bright as they once were. And of course we have the addition of the flickering fireplace as opposed to the stationary light in the fireplace of the old set. And of course these lights don't turn off automatically and these do. So there you go guys, the new Starlight Dinner Party from the Polly Pocket Keepsake Collection. I absolutely love this set. I think it is really well done. Mattel did a great job with this one. It feels well made. It doesn't feel cheap in any way and I think the details were pretty much spot on. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.